the CEO of uh, Vision Group, uh, Mr. Pierre Munsege, the Vice President of Fiji Football Association, the, the CEO of Fiji Football Association, honorary members, media, and the fans at large. Yes, indeed, that time of the year that everyone's waiting for. <coughs> we used to know it as IDC, but it's no longer known as IDC. It's known as Quartz IDC. You can never say IDC on its own because it's known as Quartz IDC and everyone calls it Quartz IDC. And this can only be possible with the sponsorship that Quartz has provided over the last 19 years and will continue to provide for another five years. This is indeed a great news for Fiji football and the soccer loving fans in Fiji in general. Without sponsors, Fiji football cannot function. We have got a lot of visions and without this partnership we cannot fulfill our visions and the aim of making the best football playing nations in the Oceania region. Our aim is also to qualify for the 2026 World Cup and this only helps us to get there. And thank you very much, uh, Coach, yep. Pierre, and Anil, and the team for making sure this partnership continues. And the whole world knows Coach IDC. People from all over the world, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Fiji fans living overseas, come for this tournament, and they come for Coach IDC. They don't call it IDC, they ask, always call, when is Coach IDC being held? When it is? Can we book our tickets? And it's good news. We have already sold five VIP tickets already without doing the pull rows and everything and people from overseas is buying it. This is something that we know the fans will enjoy the game. It's in ANZ Stadium starting on the 5th of October and ending on the 10th, which is the Independence Day and it's a public holiday. So this, if you look into it, gives a great weekend for soccer loving fans to enjoy and come out and support your district and I know Everyone is hearing that who's going to win, who's not going to win. As he, the Waterford Premier League is hitting up for the first and the second place. There are three, four teams still in contention. And if you look into it, so everybody, everybody will be hearing for the teams. Uh, they've already started making plans about it. And once again, without reading further, this cannot be possible without the sponsors' course. Thank you very much for coming on board. As you all know, it started in 1938, and as PL has mentioned, 80 years, and we still continue. In 1938, in Fiji times, it was in a small column, Lloyd Fairbrother Trophy, and it was replaced by the Courts Trophy that we have got now for the last uh, four years ago. And uh, this is something that we'd like to continue with the Courts. And as we grow bigger and better with the tournament, we also take the prize money that the districts play for. And this year again, the Premier Division, the winner will get $20,000, the runner $5,500, and the two semifinals $1,000 each. In the Senior Division, the winner gets $7,000, the runner up $2,000, and two semifinalists $250 each. This is something it's only possible when you have got a big sponsorship package. And if you know the expense that it takes for the teams to bring in from all over Fiji to come and play for courts, IDC, this, at the end of the day, we make sure the prize money is also important for the teams to fight for. Without taking much further word, uh, and thank you very much, Neil. People are waiting for it. But we do have an agreement to sign for the next five years also, and we'll do that. So it's secured, and we know that Courts is partnership with PGA for the next five years too. And we look further onwards as we grow along. Courts will be here to stay, Vision Group is here to stay, and part of it, Fiji Football is here to stay. Whether I'm there or not, it will still continue, and people will keep on enjoying football in this country. Thank you very much, and may God bless all of you, and may the best team be in Courts.